All right, we are recording. So Casey Allred will be presenting tonight on using Rust for high performance browser applications via WebAssembly. And that's all I know about Casey so far. So I can't give you a good bio, sorry about that. So we'll jump right over to Casey. Yeah, that's all good. All right, I guess I should probably share my screen then, eh? If I'm allowed to. All right, can you see everything here? Try and hide great. Okay, so as I mentioned, I um, tried to prepare a talk about WASM and, and Rust. Um, I find the subject quite fascinating. I've been dealing quite a bit with it. Uh, who am I? Just like, why should I even be doing this? Um, I wrote about 20,000 lines uh, of Rust that is intended to be in a WASM uh, target. Uh, and most of that was for my UVU MCS project. Oh, is there a chat here? Sorry. So MCS is Masters of Computer Science? No, no go ahead and record it, uh, Chuck. Um, I'm also recording it. So, uh, yeah, so I did uh, an MCS at UVU, and my main project I did in Rust uh, uh, doing WASM. Uh, for the browser, targeting the browser. Uh, you can see it currently at this program with us uh, domain that will probably move in the future. And don't judge me too harshly on the UI. It's, it's not that great, but uh, that is an example of at least something that's uh, been done in WASM and, and whatnot. I currently work for LiveView Technology on the web development team. And we are starting to use WASM in production as well uh, via Rust. Uh, we have a lot of Elm code, and so we favor things that behave similarly. And uh, there's a framework that we use that kind of copies the Elm architecture into Rust, and we absolutely love it. And aside from that, I have a wife and three beautiful little girls that are probably tormenting her as we speak. And so hopefully you don't hear too many screams. Uh, you know, enjoy a good game of Minecraft and some other stuff. So hopefully that gives you some background there. All right. Uh, so I'm going to try and talk about, uh, you know, what is WASM? I don't know. Have, has anyone, does anyone have experience with it? I, I kind of bet that people didn't have as much experience with WASM itself. And that I've more people had experience summer. with Rust. Uh, is that the case? I've made some WebAssembly stuff for some R&D at my work, uh, just nice. using WebAssembly and Rust. Nice, nice. Oh, cool. I played with it on the side just for fun. Cool. All right, yeah. Well, I, I kind of bet that people wouldn't have experienced it as much, um, so I kind of went heavy towards the Wasm side and not as much towards the Rust side. But. Uh, we'll see how it goes, I guess. Um, so, for those of you who have no idea, Web, WASM or WebAssembly, it's a binary format that's intended to be run essentially wherever JavaScript will run. Uh, the initial target was the browser to provide a target for, you know, other languages to be able to compile and run in the browser because compiling to JavaScript and then running it isn't always as fun. Uh, so, and it's, so it's a virtual machine that runs separate from the JavaScript virtual machine, and then they can kind of interact through some calls back and forth. Um, and uh, yeah, there's, I was trying to see, but it's a stacked-based virtual machine as opposed to like a register-based uh, machine. So instead of saying, you know, put this in register one and then this in register two and now add the two registers or whatever, uh, you push something on the stack, push the next thing on the stack and then say, hey, do an add on the two things that are on the stack and then it does it, puts the result on the stack. And then, you know, that's how you do your computations. Now, it, it may compile that and it might be uh, ran in the browser in a registry style format, I'd be more efficient, you know, but uh, the target itself is a stack based virtual machine. And that's how the code will read 